All right, like I told you here, we had a something like this before, all right? And now we're gonna make it into, an, into a string. So we're gonna do JSON that stringify something. But what is the opposite of that? This is a string. The opposite of that is JSON that parse that string, okay? So JSON stringify makes it into a string and JSON parse makes it into a JSON, okay? So what I'm going to do is on the client state, I need to create a function first called restore notes. That doesn't take anything, okay? And on the client state, I am going to call this function. Immediately when this starts, the defaults get called first. So I'm gonna say restore notes, okay? And what this is going to do is it's gonna take the notes, local storage, and it's gonna get item notes. It's to be the same as here, remember? Okay, and we will try to see what's up. If there are no notes, then let's do try. Oh, before that, just look at what happens when I do this. this is, I'm gonna return an empty array because if I return something here, or oh, restore, 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 okay. I will return an empty array because then when I, when this gets called, it's gonna turn into an empty array, okay? So let's see what's up. I refresh, so good. Let me console log notes. Okay, these are the notes. Now, if I, uh, let's say that I'm trying to get something different, I am gonna get no. Okay, so if I cannot find whatever it is, as you can see, what I did here was trying to find something that didn't exist. And when you try to find something that doesn't exist, then it becomes no. So I'm gonna say if notes or if notes doesn't exist, better yet, I am going to, or if notes exists, sorry, if notes exist, something, and if it doesn't exist, it's gonna return an empty array anyways, okay. So if notes exist, what I'm gonna do is do parsed notes equals JSON parse uh, notes, but this should be on a try catch situation. If there is an error, I am gonna console log the error just to see, and I am gonna return an empty string, an empty array. So I couldn't restore the notes, so I will give the default an empty array of the notes that I couldn't restore, okay? Awesome. And now here as well, I've, I'm gonna try to, uh, no, if the notes are parsed, it's okay, right? Yeah, fuck it. And then I just return parsed notes. Done. So it works. Haha, <laughs> look at this. Because they're here in a in a application, because they're here, notes. Let me just rename this so you will see we won't be able to find it. I'm gonna refresh. And as you can see, we couldn't find it. And if we go to my cache, reload frame. If you go to my cache, there is nothing. There is just notes. Done. Okay, empty array. But if we find them, let me refresh the reload the frame, refresh the page, and reload the frame. Actually, the nodes are right there and they are restored like a boss. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you achieve uh, complete offline support and persistence of your cache. And if I refresh, they're saved like a motherfucking boss. All right, awesome stuff, sexy. See you on the next one.